Hello guys, this is the Drifting Lemur, and today we're back on another Minecraft Dungeons Guide. Today, we'll be reviewing the Bone Club slash Sudgel. So guys, before we begin, please hit the like button and subscribe for more content. Without further ado, let's begin. The Bone Sudgel is only found in the Flames of Another DLC, so remember that. So as I said... The Bone Sudgel can only be found in the Flames of the Nether DLC. This also goes for the Bone Club. Now it can specifically be found in the Warped Forest and the Soul Sand Valley. The Soul Sand Valley is a secret level. Now, regarding enchantments. So like the enchantments you want to avoid specifically should be the ones with percentages like critical hit and radiance. You want to avoid those weapons because this is an extremely slow weapon. So let me go here. As you can see, it's extremely slow. So I would definitely say do not get an enchantment that has a percentage. The only one I would say might be a viable option is rampaging. So keep that in mind. So as you can see, if we use the Death Cap Mushroom, it is increased. And then if we use a Renegade Armor, which I have one right here, let's put it on. It can be even faster. Then if you put on Rampaging, it, it could also be faster. But remember that Rampaging is a percentage, which means it might not always happen. So do keep that in mind if you're going to use Rampaging. Now on this Bone Club specifically, I have Rampaging, Swirling, and Leeching. The reason why you want leeching instead of radiance is because, remember, radiance is a percentage. And since this is slow, it's not going to be that worth it. I have swirling on here because there really is no reason for shockwave. Because the area of this weapon is already, like, extremely well for the front side. So just better to use swirling to kill off the enemies from behind, basically. And on this one, I do have rampaging. I would say this is probably not going to be the first thing you want, but if it's there, you could get it. Now, I have another bone club here that has exploding. Exploding definitely is something really good with this club, actually, because it, it will explode dead enemies. So other enchantments that might be interesting is smiting, sharpness, and frozen. Frozen may slow down enemies, which will allow you to actually have an advantage over them because then they'll be slower i will have other enchantments down in the comments below if i find better ones so keep do keep that in mind if you also have found better enchantments you can also post that in the comments below now what makes the bone sudgel unique the bone sudgel has a tier one illagers bane which means it does 20 percent increased damage to illagers now this could be something that you might be interested in using along with sharpness and smiting. Perhaps on your bone sudgel you could have 3 sharpness which will allow you to do a lot more damage to illagers. Or you could have smiting, sharpness and maybe some maybe leeching on it as well. Pain cycle may be good but as I but you as you probably know I do no damage bosses so I'm probably not going to first want to try pain cycle. It could be good, but I have never tried it, so um, don't quote me on that. I have never tried Pain Cycle before. I have never even tried it on any weapon. So do keep that in mind if you're going to use Pain Cycle. I've never tried it out, so I don't know if it's good. If someone has tried it out, and if you know it's good, feel free to put that in the comments below. So as I said, Rampaging may be something you want, but just keep in mind it's a percentage. Swirling and Leeching, I'll definitely say, are must-haves. Exploding is also something good. You don't really need it, but definitely I would say it's good. But definitely Leeching is something you want, and so is Swirling. If you don't want Swirling, then it's gonna your life is going to be a little harder, but it's still possible. Now... Let's go and try out the Bone Club here. So let me go to the dummy. Alright. And, oh, my bad, wrong button. Uh, yeah, and yeah, I'm gonna use the Rampaging Bone Club on this one. So as you can see, I'm using the Mushroom. I'm dealing a lot of damage using the Swirling. Of course, Leeching's not gonna work because the target dummy cannot die. And that also means that the Rampaging will also not work. I actually do plan on making a build on this, because this does seem like a really fun weapon to use. So, uh, if you want to see the build, feel free to subscribe and have the notifications turned on for that. So guys, I'm going to go to Archhaven for some no commentary gameplay. 
I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright guys, so before I go, there are some things I want to talk about. First of all, this weapon is extremely good for Apocalypse Plus. I'll definitely say it's probably really good. It might not be the best, but I'll definitely say this is a really good weapon for Apocalypse Plus. And especially with, like, Power Shaker, you could deal a lot of damage with it. So definitely, I would say this weapon with a lot of good artifacts and maybe some good armor... You can definitely make a really good build out of this, and you can definitely survive Apocalypse Plus with this weapon. Maybe even with the weapon itself as well. So, keep that in mind. This is a really good weapon. It's probably not my favorite. I don't really like that slow weapons. But I'll definitely say this is a weapon that I would like to try out a bit more later on. So guys, I'm gonna go now. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the no commentary gameplay. I'll see you guys at the end of the video.
So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. So I'll definitely say the Bone Club is a really amazing weapon. It can be found in the Flames of the Nether DLC in the Warped Forest and the Soul Sand Valley. The Soul Sand Valley is a secret level in the Flames of the Nether DLC. The unique variant of the Bone Club is the Bone Sudgel, which has a, where is it, a, right there. A tier 1 Illager's Bane, meaning it will do plus 20% increased damage to all Illagers. This could be something you can really use with like sharpness and smiting. So that we can deal extra damage to zombies, skeletons, illagers, and anything else. So that's a really cool enchantment. Some other enchantments you might want is illagers bane on bone club only. That way we can deal tier 3 illager damage to them. Some other enchantments you might want is rampaging, swirling, leeching, and definitely just a lot of stuff like freezing, fire aspect. But definitely some stuff you want to avoid are like the percentage the percentage enchantments such as uh, Echo, Stunning, Lightning, Poison Cloud. You want to avoid those enchantments with this weapon. Another really good enchantment for this is Exploding and I'll definitely say it's pretty good. Now Rampaging might not be something you want first so definitely don't just try and grind this weapon out for that. Critical hit, it might seem nice but don't get it. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you out. Before you leave, please hit the like button. I already asked you to subscribe twice, so I'm not going to ask you again. This is the Drifting Lemur. If I have anything else to say about this weapon, I'll let you guys know in the comments below. If you also have anything else to let people know about this weapon, feel free to also post that in the comments below, like good enchantments, good build suggestions, and anything else. So guys... This is the Drifting Lemur. I hope you enjoyed this Minecraft Dungeons guide. Goodbye.